Hey Tanner, how do I lose weight fast? Simple, just do loads of cocaine and stop eating. Uh, how do I lose weight fast without going to prison? Oh, okay, so you wanna lose weight fast without having to worry about getting butt raped. Exactly, should I eat low carb, high fat? Do you wanna keep being a fat ass? No, should I eat high carb, low fat? Do you wanna be a skinny fat pussy? No. Well, in that case, we gotta get you to quit eating like a dumbass, so you better watch this video. Hey, it's Tanner Shruck from TrueStrength.co, and today I'm gonna tell you how to lose five pounds of fat as fast as possible. While snorting lines of coke and not eating will definitely work, I don't want you guys to go to jail because of me, so it's probably best we find you a long-term solution. So how do you know if you're a guy that needs to lose weight? Well, do you have bitch tits or love handles? Do you have a fat upper dick area, otherwise known as a FUDA? Does walking up the stairs or playing with your kids make you feel like you want to have a heart attack? Do you struggle to get your dick hard or keep it hard? Do you have to have sex with the lights off or with a blow up doll? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you probably need to lose some weight. Did I hit some pain points with you? Good. Maybe you'll do something about it. But before I tell you how to un your life, please smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. So if you want to lose fat fast, the first and only place to start is to calculate your maintenance calories, otherwise known as your total daily energy expenditure. Now this isn't rocket science. Your TDEE is just how many calories your body needs every day to maintain your current body weight. If you don't know your maintenance calories, I put a link in the description below with my free TDEE calculator that will tell you exactly how many calories you need to eat, or just Google it. So now that we know your maintenance calories, now we need to put you in the infamous caloric deficit, which is just a fancy way of me telling you to stop eating like a beached whale so you start consuming less calories than your body burns. Yes, you need to track your calories, but don't worry, no one tracks forever. But I do think everyone should track their calories for at least two to four weeks at some point in their life. Because when you start paying attention to what you eat, you stop eating like a mindless fing idiot. Not only that, Tracking your calories is easier than ever with tons of great free calorie tracking apps like MyFitnessPal or Fitbit. So no fucking excuses. When tracking, a general rule of thumb is to put yourself in a 20 to 30% deficit. The bigger the deficit, the faster you burn fat. Just don't exceed a 30% deficit because it's not sustainable for most people and you'll just feel like you're starving all the time. And if you're gonna do that, you might as well just do some cocaine and stop eating altogether. Oh, don't worry. This is just creatine. You gotta get those gains, brah. Just to give you an example, let's say our maintenance calories is 3,000. We're gonna do some very basic math. We'll take 3,000, multiply that by 0 0.7, cause we're gonna adhere to a 30% deficit. That gives us 2,100. 2,100 calories is our deficit target. So essentially, we can eat 2,100 calories per day to maintain our deficit. Once we know our calorie deficit target, we're gonna do the second most important thing in dieting, which is break down our macro split. Or in dummy terms, how many grams of carbs, fats, and proteins you're gonna hit in your caloric deficit. Since most people have no idea, remember, carbs and protein have four calories per gram. Fat has nine calories per gram. That's over double the amount of calories compared to carbs and protein. Remember that. Now I'm gonna make this as simple as possible so you can skip all the bullshit. If you want to lose fat fast, just get 40% of your calories from protein and then fill in the rest of your calories with carbs and fats as desired. So in this example, we can go 30% carbs, 30% fat. That's all you got to do. Why so much protein? Think of it like this. If you want to be soft and fluffy like most people, then just keep getting the majority of your calories from soft and fluffy foods, aka carbs and fats. But if you don't want to be like most people and you want to be lean and muscular, then get the majority of your calories from lean and muscular foods, aka protein. You don't need to worry about any special diets either, such as keto, carnivore, vegan, carb cycling, intermittent fasting, or any of that other nonsense either. In fact, eating more protein is the single greatest diet strategy of all time, whether your goal is to burn fat or build muscle. Here's why. Eating more protein improves satiety, builds and maintains muscle, has the highest thermic effect of food, and improves your metabolic rate. So when in doubt, just eat more protein. So in this particular example, the math doesn't work out perfectly, but here's how it breaks down. You're gonna go 210 grams of protein, which again is 840 calories, 155 grams of carbs, which is 620 calories, 
and 71 grams of fat, which is 640 calories. Again, that is a 40, 30, 30 split between protein, carbs, and fats. And it totals to be 2,100 calories, which is your calorie deficit. So now that we have our calories and macros dialed in, we need to do the second most important thing, speed up our metabolism. Remember, the goal isn't to actually lose weight, but burn fat. And the fastest way to burn fat is to improve our basal metabolic rate, or our BMR. So what's your BMR? Basically, it's how many calories your body needs just to stay alive and perform its most basal or life-sustaining functions, like sleeping, eating, digesting food, laying around, and jerking off. What's crazy is your BMR accounts for over 70% of your daily calories burned. Yes, 70%. That's over double the calories you burn doing all your other daily activities, including exercise. So how do we increase our BMR? Build muscle. How do we build muscle? Drum roll, lift weights. Not only is strength training a cheat code for life, it's also the best form of exercise for fat loss. Why? Because building muscle is metabolically expensive for your body, meaning the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn. So in dummy terms, when I'm sitting at home off on my couch, I'm burning more calories than you when you're sitting at home off on your couch, simply because I have more muscle. Now here's two easy ways on how to improve your BMR. If you want to burn fat, build muscle. Or if you want to lose weight, lift weight. Now, what else can we do to turn our body into a fat burning machine? Increase our NEAT, or our non-exercise activity thermogenesis. Think of your NEAT as all the calories you burn doing all your other daily activities, like doing the laundry, taking out the trash, or getting groceries. People have no idea on how powerful this can be for fat loss. What's the easiest way to improve your NEAT? Let's take a wild guess. How about quit sitting on your ass all day? Sitting is a disease, and the easiest way to fix it is spend more time on your feet. Here's some of my favorite ways to improve my own NEAT. Take the stairs, have a stand-up desk, park your car further away, ride a bike to work, make YouTube videos. If you're too lazy to do any of those things, just take a 10-minute walk. Just finished a meal, Take a 10 minute walk. Need a work break? Take a 10 minute walk. Feeling lazy or tired? Take a 10 minute walk. Seriously, taking two to three 10 minute walks a day can be life changing on how you look and feel. And it's something that anyone can easily do. So no excuses. And lastly, sleep. Sleep is where all the magic happens. That's when your body burns fat, builds muscle, recovers from training, blah, blah, blah. And without adequate sleep, you'll never be able to optimize your body's hormones. And if your hormone levels are off, you're also, if your fat loss is plateaued, it could be because you're not getting enough quality sleep. I can and will make an entire YouTube video on how to optimize sleep, but for now, just make sure you get six to eight hours per night. Another great thing about sleep that most people overlook, the longer you sleep, the less time you're awake to fuck up your diet. And now for some honorable mentions. Eating less calories is and always will be the king for fat loss. What's an easy way to eat less? Intermittent fasting, or in other words, just skip a meal. I recommend the 16-8 eating window where you don't eat until 12 p.m. and you stop eating after 8 p.m. Consume more caffeine. Coffee is a great way to suppress appetite and increase your daily caloric burn by speeding up your metabolism. Now what about fat loss pills? Generally speaking, I'm not a fan. They can work if you're already really lean and you're trying to get super shredded like sub 10% body fat, but for the majority of people, don't waste your money. Just focus on what really matters first. Know your maintenance calories. Maintain a 20 to 30% caloric deficit. Aim to get 40% of your daily calories from protein. Lift weights to build muscle to improve your BMR. Increase your NEAT. Sleep more. Now realistically, how long is it gonna take you to lose five pounds of fat? I have no idea. That's completely up to you and your habits. But under ideal circumstances, you could legitimately lose one to two pounds of fat per week. So theoretically, you could do this in four to six weeks if you dial in everything we talked about. So if you wanna build simple, sensible, and sustainable nutrition habits, make sure to check out the True Strength Lifestyle Nutrition Guide available at truestrength.co or in the description below. This guide will teach you everything you'll ever need to know about nutrition. And it comes with a free month of True Strength workouts. Plus, if you send a before and after photo showing a significant transformation, I'll send you a cash prize. That's not a bad deal. That's all I got for you today, guys. If you do anything, just check out the free calculator in the description below to learn your maintenance calories. And if you liked the video, please leave a comment. Let me know what topics you wanna to see me cover in the future. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss another video. Also, check out these videos. Remember, don't just be strong, be truly strong. I'll see you guys on the next one.